by Don Paul Donna Quesada, my goal in this post is to say, as precisely and concisely as possible, why gratitude is a good thing. Because in spiritual parlance and self-help guides of all sorts, we hear it, and it sounds intuitively correct, but I'd like to be able to understand why gratitude heals, rather than have it feel like a dogmatic commandment. The two teaching concepts I'm putting together here are Buddha's Four Noble Truths and the Yogic Model of Energetic Anatomy. Buddha has famously pinpointed our attachments as the source of our chronic, self-inflicted, emotional angst. In the second noble truth, he called it Trishna, which means thirst, but refers to any number of tangible and intangible attachments that we carry, at any moment in time. While this idea is often erroneously translated so as to make desires themselves the bad guys, it is rather, our attachment to them, that causes anguish. To make this less abstract, an attachment is any rigid preference. Any mental insistence that things have to be a certain way, or take a certain form. We all have many of these attachments running, at any time, like open apps in our iPhones, for example, that I'll never lose my money, or my job, or my car. That I'll get the call back, or the publishing deal, or the award. That others understand me, that my peers respect me, that my family approves of my decisions, and on and on. Now, imagine if those attachments took the form of energetic cords, reaching out in all directions, plugging into those imaginary situations, out into the surrogate world, where fantasy exists. See my drawing, above. From the point of view of energetic anatomy, our life force, or prana, comes into our bodies through the crown of our heads. Like money given to us, it is now up to us, to manage it. If that energy gets siphoned off into myriad attachments, through energetic tendrils, reaching out into a hundred various and sundry fixations, then we've invested poorly and the result will be exhaustion at best, and illness at worst. This is where gratitude comes in. Gratitude quells the inevitable discontent that comes from the endless reaching and grasping. If Trishna is thirst, then gratitude is what quenches it, at the root level, from the inside, before those insatiable energetic tendrils even have a chance to stretch out and place their suction cups on anything, on the outside. So, closing with the analogy of having open apps in our iPhones, something I didn't know was a problem, until my grown kid looked at me aghast, while swiping them all up and making them vanish. How was I supposed to know? Our attachments, like those open apps, sap our energy and drain our batteries. So, harnessing and managing our energy, as martial artists and yogis have always known, becomes the whole game. This stands from the point of view of healing and feeling better, which are really one and the same, because the minute we find something to be grateful for, which is how to start. We instantly feel content with what is, rather than anxious about what isn't. At that very instant, the inner struggle recedes, as we bring our focus on what we have, which feels good, rather than on lack, which feels bad. Let's block ads. Why?